see him right here. see him? Get him, Max! Oh, there he is! Oh, let's go! Let's freaking go! <laughs> What's going on? Welcome back to the Fishing of Norm YouTube channel. Guys, comment days popping up down below. So go ahead, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, leave a comment down below on this video for your chance to be next video's comment of the day. There's a lot of you guys who are new to the channel. We're gaining like a thousand subs a day. A lot of you guys have just been clicking on the video. So if you're new, go ahead, subscribe. We're trying to. I should have turned that off. Well, guys, today I was hopping out of loads just trying to make me look cool. I was just messing with you. You have like this thing that's kind of loose right here. I was just messing yeah. with it. I accidentally hit your uh, trigger. And... That's fine. Well, guys, today we are here with a. Uh, with all Lojo fishing, it's been a while. Say what's up to everybody. Dude, first time back on your channel in like six months, and I just yeah. come over here and just like, oh, bloop, and just destroy everything. <laughs> Today, we're giving like a little classic throwback vibe. We're here with Lojo. You guys know me and Lojo known each other ever since before 100 subscribers. Not oh, 100,000, yeah. like yeah, actually yeah. 100. <laughs> Earlier today, I thought it'd be a great idea. You guys saw the sinkhole video where we found human remains and stuff like that. If you haven't seen it, it's popping up here. I thought it'd be cool to take Lojo out there because there's puddles, there's fish. Well, we thought there was fish. We tried to put my boat in. There's no boat ramp. There's no fish. It was super It was super cool. If you guys want to go check that video out, it's going to be on Lojo's channel. But today, we're throwing it back doing a little classic Bass Pro Shops challenge. We're actually doing a live bait Bass Pro Shops challenge. I didn't know that Bass Pro Shops had like live bait. Yeah, I had no idea. So what we're going to do, we're going to go inside of Bass Pro Shops. I haven't looked too much. We're going to buy everything that used to be a fish or still is a fish or still was alive or dead. And we're going to take it to Lojo's pond in his backyard and um, do some live bait. Bassin. It's been a long time since you and I have been in a store in general, but it's yeah. been a really, really, really long time since we've been in the Bass Pro Shops together. You hey guys, 5,000 likes will force Loja to come back on the channel again. <laughs> and um, he made me pay him $1,000 for this uh, collab. So if you guys could also leave a like on this video and subscribe. You know what I'd love to do is throw a cast net in here and bring them all back to my <laughs> pond. Just one big banana, or not a banana, not a banana. Well, you want a pancake when you throw the cast net, but yeah. I throw bananas because I'm terrible. Well, guys, it looks like they got live bait in here. I don't know if those are for sale or not. We might have to like bring one up to the counter and ask if they can scan it. We're gonna leave the live bait containers, pool pond, whatever, over here and go to like the actual live bait section. All right, guys, so we have the massive live bait cooler here. Your definition of a live could be different than mine, but- um, They have sand fleas? Those are good. Frozen sand fleas. And they like that the, would uh, be a hell of a challenge. Sand flea for bass? There's or? whole bait squid and there's squid bits. Ooh, Finger mullet. Bits. That sounds pretty good. What um, do you think these are? Are those not shad? Giant whole shad? I think shad? those are sardines. That's a five pound bag of sardines. Good lord. Those are giant sardines. All right, guys. We're just going to open this stuff and I'm going to take them out and you're going to tell me. Woo! That smells good. Yeah, it smells like uh, It smells like death. Yeah. When you open it, like wafted right in my face, the sardine. Yeah, there's some strong sardine scent going on. This is shad. I'm pretty. This is this is dead shad. It's got the little dot right there, right? I think it's thread shad. I think shad. you're actually right, but why is it not on our list here? That's a secret dead live bait at Bass Pro Shops. They have frozen shad here, and it's just it's just not labeled. All right, guys. So we got massive frozen shad here, which I actually didn't know they had. Yeah. So this could be. Something that we buy a lot of the time. What do you think about this? I think you have to try the squid. I mean, do we have to? There's some big old catfish in my pond, and that just seems really odd, but probably stinky. And I just yeah. think they're going to crush it. Catfish will eat anything anyways. They're like a garbage can with a mouth and a fin. So. But I'd love to see if they'd eat squid. I mean, you know they'll eat that. That's shad. That's local yeah. to them. But squid? They've never seen that before. I feel like we have to try it. I like, think you should. These are jumbo squid too, guys. These aren't no baby squids. <laughs> like these are mama and dada squid. Dude, if we catch a bass on this, you guys gotta subscribe. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> I think we're the only person who's ever bought anything out of this cooler and bass pro shops ever. It's probably been there for years. That shrimp would work. I think catfish love shrimp. First, let's just buy everything, I guess. Let's take the yeah. cooler with us. Have you ever seen Spanish sardines before? No. I think that's what we're smelling though. Not for human consumption. No. Spanish sardines catching cook. We just eat them. We just grill them. Dude, I just noticed how nasty my hands are, guys. They Sorry, are I don't. I haven't nasty. washed them ever since I uh, I shook Lojo's hand three years ago. I just <laughs> never washed my hands. Oh my goodness, dude. These almost look like Ooh, shad, but they're, they're longer long. and skinnier. Yeah. That's a lot, too. Dude, I feel like we should buy all this because no matter what, if they eat it or not, we can still feed your paw. Absolutely. You know what I mean? So yeah. this is all food for your fish. Absolutely. Whether they eat it on our hook or they eat it just with it sitting out there and they get annoyed with that. We yeah. actually have like real live bait here, guys. And um, we just have like live worms. I think they're all the same flavor because it's all red packaging. Yeah, no googies in there, huh? No googie yeah. bait live worms. Well, this Ooh. one's um, He's not looking too hot. Um, he has one heart left. <laughs> <laughs> you may have to go for the back. That's what uh, Badger always tells me. So go for, the, go for the very back. All righty, so this is like the back of the back. These, okay. should be, these should be big juices. They should be. If you get a big old grab full of them, that should be moving. I wonder. Wake up, sleepy. 
All right, so I think they're just playing. They're asleep right now. It's kind of like when you get them to the pond, and uh, that's when they wake up. So. But we have everything in the cart here. Actually, besides blue crab, we got to find that in the cooler. They, do have, they got the sand fleas, though. Oh, we don't. We gotta try. Sam, Look at please. those little frickers right there. I don't even know what those are. Bro, That's they got chicken necks. Raw chicken necks. That's the move. We're gonna go ahead and check everything out. Uh, we probably need live bait hooks. We'll get those too, and then we are gonna head to uh, Lojo's Ranch and dangle some catfish. The big bass have apparently been biting too, and see what we can catch. We'll see you guys there. All right, folks. It is 24 hours later. We are here at Lojo's Pond Ranch. What do you call this thing again? Pond Ranch. I don't even know what we call this. The thing is, Lojo and I filmed that bit, you know, yesterday walked in Bass Pro Shops and people were yelling at us for, you know, talking yeah. about squids and stuff. The cool thing is though, I didn't put it in the fridge last night, so it's been basking oh, in my truck free. in 100 degree Alabama weather for oh. 24 hours. So it's gonna be extra stinky, but that's good because you have fish good. that like stinky stuff in your pond. You know? It's gonna be great for fishing. It's gonna be horrendous to have to handle and put on your hook. The baits that we got. Oh, oh, yeah. oh God. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, that's, that's real. Sun fried squids straight from the ba from Bass Pro Shops. That is lure number one. I kind of don't see which oh, like live dead God. bait works best. You know how you're Gino. talking about you put a ton of shad yeah. in your pond? Yeah. So now we have like seven more. Oh, it's dripping. And it's um brown death water. So these don't smell too good either, guys. But um Dude, you got worms too? There's no way they're still alive. <gasps> they they're are moving, man. How? I got the top three that I thought would be the best like live slash dead bait from Bass Pro Shops. So we yeah. have squid, shad, and worms. I feel like obviously the worms, classic bass, bass fishing classic. bait. When you're going freshwater, you can catch anything. Catch bluegill. Yeah, I was say, you could catch anything in my pond with these. What do you think is going to catch the biggest fish out of these three? Well, I want to say this is crazy and it's going to smell different, but I think hack that shad in half, put a head on there. That's yeah. my vote. All right, guys, no cheating. Comment down below which bait do you think is going to catch the biggest fish. We're going to try all of them and figure it out. So when you guys go to Bass Pro Shops and you want to buy live bait, it's already dead. You can use us as reference. We're going through this for you guys. I was going to say, go to the Tallahassee Bass Pro Shops and tell them Norm sent you. Bring your yeah. cameras and fish in the kiddie pool, guys. They love it when you don't do it on weekends. So. Log it out. <laughs> I'm ready, man. I'm ready to, to feel the nice tog of a Lojo Backyard Pond Mega. All right. Can you hold this for me? Oh, God. I was worried. You were gonna... <laughs> See, the thing is, too, it's enclosed right now. And we can already smell it. So when we open it, our Guggen Squad performance performance gear use code norm for 10% off is going to be ruined, man. They go great through the wash though, guys. So. All right, guys, so we're here at Lojo's big pond right here. So this is the animal cracker, the buffalo pond. And then right over here is the swamp. So if we catch anything massive, especially like a catfish, Lojo's trying to do is take catfish out of this pond because there's a lot of them. And we might even relocate them to the swamp. We hate to kill every like non-bass in this pond. But we've got to do something with that fish because they can't all stay in here and make it a trophy bass pond. You gotta only yeah. have trophy bass in here. You can't have like competing predators, you know what I mean? Gotcha. So every catfish we catch, any tiny bass, whatever, it's gonna get relocated to our swamp, which is basically a giant secondary creek network. Man, I wanna start with the squid. I was about to say, mm. man, I think we should save the worms. Yes. I think you should do squid and then cut a piece of shad right in half. And just send them both out there, see which one gets hit first, see yeah. which one's bigger. And then if we really need to, we've got the worms. The good old trusty you know worms. Because we know worms will work, but right. we don't know if squids and massive dead shad will work. Correct. So let's go ahead and oh, open this, God. man. This is going to have to be a quick yeah. open to on the hook. I'm down with Speed open. Give, give a good whiff, Norm. Uh, I don't think I can, Come man. on, do it. <laughs> oh, freaking. <laughs> oh, it's staying with me. I got a whiff of it. I can't. Smell it again. Come on, oh, you made me I smell it. Oh, <laughs> it's bad. You guys smell that? Mm. It's just been marinating in squid juice for the last 24 hours, man. This is how the catfish want it presented to them. We're going to put... Oh, that oh, is... Oh, my God. It's a full freaking squid. That is massive, Look man. Look at his little tentacles. It's aching. What he's slipping, hook? dude. I'm pinching as hard as like... Oh, oh he's dirty now. Oh, he's oozing, man. Did what I, is this? Did I stab him? Did oh, he what? is. Oh. <laughs> it's your he's, he's, he's freaking oozing. He's bleeding he's out of his eye holes. It, man. Uh, Give him a little top hat meat. <laughs> so guys, what you want to do when you're uh, when you're fishing squid for uh, freshwater fish? I mean, mainly this is a summer technique, which is perfect. That's why we thought about it. When catfish and bass school up on squid, you want to get it right through the flap. And that, what that's going to do is give you a little bit of extra action. And when there's current, it's going to do this. Oh man! Just mm -hmm. And they just they the can't stand everywhere. it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I juice you? No, no. Maybe I just, juiced him a little bit. Just juiced him a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I just noticed too. This isn't like nobody's seen your ranch on my channel in like half a year. It's just Not a boat. pontoon boat with yeah. like a <laughs> one of those Home Depot pallets on top yeah, of it. Man, yeah. <laughs> yep. Can I step on your boat? Yeah, dog. It's made for two. Huh? Bad. Yeah. Uh, Call them fat. No, dog. Wow. 
I guess. Yeah, <laughs> I just, for two. All right. I just put that. Yeah, I'll right. remember I, that I, when I'm I, typing the description out for this video and you're not linked in it. <laughs> I feel like this one should be your rod and reel, so you choose what you want to okay. throw. Well, I'll do the shad. I mean, no, they're not as bad. They're not as bad. I mean, they're not good, but the squid had a really pungent. Not as bad, my butt. Man. <laughs> I kind of freaked you on that one. I'm sorry. Well, what I know about my catfish, they love heads. Like they just love freaking fish heads. So we're just gonna hit them with one of those right there. Oh wow, he started oozing too. There's some things happening here. I secretly sent Norm to the wrong spot, so I'm gonna cast in the right spot. Oh, he's he freaking squidged me. Oh, don't shoot. flick well, on why the head. I had to do it, Madge. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, see, that's where I wanted to cast right there. Is it? That looks like the spot, man. Guys, the squid just got bit. Oh, it is, oh it's popping it up and down, you man. Better be ready, Norm. I uh, should. I, I I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it. Here's the thing. Then... The barber's got to go down and stay down. Yeah. You can't try to set the hook right away. Okay, oh, now, oh, you may want to oh have it Oh my in your gosh, hand, yeah. He is definitely trying to eat that squid. I'm going to try to be super quiet, guys. I can't believe a squid is getting ate this quick out here. Getting ate. Oh boy. Yes, he's trying to go. Go, go, Norm. He might have it. Real, real. Slower than my grandma. Real, real, Norm. Oh, dude. The dragon's loose. Oh, no, he's going to take me in the tree. He's going to break him. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh, man. Where is he? It's a 10 pounder, dude. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh, it's a nice one. It's a good catfish. Nice. Yes. Dude, that's a nice dude one, on the Bass Pro Shop squid, hey, play dude. Him. That's light line. Just play him. Play him. Oh, no. We're flip or die, baby. Oh, my God. No drag. No slipping <laughs> out here, baby. man. I did give you a 20 Yes. <laughs> dude, I, the first time I ever came out here, guys, like middle of the night, and I lost a catfish on the log, and you guys screamed at me because I didn't reel them in fast enough. So, you know, we, we are getting them in, man. Dude, nice fish, man. Badge has his own technique for removing the hook from a catfish. Oh my god, mine just got crushed. No way. Oh, he came back up, but he got crushed. And the piece of squid that your catfish coughed up is getting murdered by Brim right here. Look, a giant piece of squid, and the Brim are just murdering it. They're murdering them all. You know, oh, oh no, he's in the tree. Oh, he's god, in the tree. He's on the tree. Get him off there, Thorne. Come on, oh my baby. God, he's on the tree. Get off the tree. Stop that. Is he on the tree? Yeah. Oh, geez. No, wait, I'm running this way. Oh, get, dude, launch the boat. Launch the boat. <laughs> wait, I think. Uh, I got him. I got him, maybe. Oh, yes, yes. No, wait. Oh, no. I got, I got to launch the dude, boat. Dude, launch the boat. Here, get on there. I'll push you off. <laughs> push it. Oh, jeez. Go. I don't oh, know if we can do it with really him on, can we? Yeah, we can. Yes, we can. No, you better. Oh, He's still on there, dude. He's fighting. Put it in reverse. Who cares for looks? It's aesthetic. Just pull it over there. I don't feel him anymore, man. Yeah. Oh my god. No, he was on there like three seconds ago. Oh, oh he's no. still on there. He's still on. I just felt him again. Yes, pull yourself over there. See if you can rip him free. <gasps> Drop that motor if you feel like it. <laughs> Hold this. Oh, I see him. I, I see him right you here, see man. Him? Get him, bud! Oh, you actually are coming. Get him! <laughs> hey, oh, he's right in front of you. You're literally about to touch him with your right hand. Him? Yeah, he's right there. Oh, God. He's right there. I don't see him. Just go down. Trust. It's a big cat. It's bigger than the first oh, one, man. Get it, baby. He's right there. He's about four yards to your right, south uh, southeast. I don't see him. You see him? Yeah, he's Wait. right there. Look. Oh my God. It's get him, bitch. Get him. <laughs> what do I get him with? My hands? Yes. yes. All right, Jesus Christ. Wait, where is he? I don't just, see him anymore. Just flip him. Just follow the line. I don't see him. No shot. He got off after all of this. Wait. No. I don't know. Oh, oh God. What is that down there? Oh, there he is! Oh, Let's go! Let's freaking go! <laughs> Guys, if you're not subscribed, man. Let's go. Subscribe and like for more catfish action <laughs> and more Bass <laughs> Pro <laughs> live bait challenges. Jeez, I was just man. going out here. I heard a massive splash. <laughs> and I was like, I don't know my catfish was that big. And AO was just... <laughs> <laughs> Bring that bad boy over here. All by myself, oh, no God. help. <laughs> All by myself. <laughs> Dude, that was, that's, I already know it's going to 2021 craziest fishing moments. Like oh, the, yeah. the end of the year compilation. I can't believe Lord. it. What Dude. the freak was that? That was in my top five most legendary fish catches of my whole entire life. I will say that. That Please. was awesome, man. Ayo, thank you so much for sacrificing. Yeah. I wouldn't have done it myself. Oh, yeah. well, we got number. Y'all better grab a hold of that fish. <laughs> yeah, he's There's, he's not attached I to anything. I snapped off and my bobber was stuck on the log and then Are he grabbed the bobber. No, Dude, look, oh, my, my line oh, is not here. That's the leader. I tied a 20 pound leader on that end. <laughs> yeah. What a Yo, man. let's freaking go. The team, teamwork makes the dream work, baby. That was, that was a hot nightmare, man. I was just, everything went wrong and right at See, the same time. See, this is like 10 pound line, but I specifically. Yeah. 
yeah. if we put a 20 pound leader on there just in case it Dude, got you're snagged. so smart are you are you a Guggen? I don't know man you are Some, good sometimes at fishing, I don't man. know I don't know <laughs> my nips could cut glass dude did it drop 20 degrees since I got it in freaking out. dude toss them in the bucket man oh, we yes. got two nice swamp fish for the bucket swamp dude I can't believe the squid is up the, like the squid's killing it two nailed to everything yeah. else. I oh, thought that yeah. was going to be the worst and it did the best. No, I'm, yeah. Alright guys, we got two big old catfish caught on the squid Whew. and we're going to relocate them to the swamp because as Lo just said before, he's trying to make this into like a trophy bass pond and I'm going to bring them some trophy bass too guys. So stay tuned for those videos, but we got to get these catfish over there into the swamp. Getting down to the swamp is kind of fun too. Oh, um, you go right down here. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. Jeez. All right, here we are. That was not safe. <laughs> so people at home aren't concerned like we're just sending them off to die. What you don't know is if you go through the woods, like all back there is just this huge creek system. And yeah. some of it's like five feet deep. Yeah. And it goes miles that way and miles that way. So there's plenty of fish living here already. So it's not like we're sending them off to die. Right. Yeah. So we're just going to go with the, like the give them a dump release, you know, yeah, the catfish. Yeah, just, They're pretty just kind of ease so. them out that way and they'll probably right. make their way right downstream. Yeah. Oh, right into his face hole. I'll help him out. There I've been go. there. Don't sting me. Oh, oh he's see, off. He's, he's off. He's good. Yeah, he's going right downstream like he's supposed to. Give him a little send. He'll, yeah, he'll catch up. See, there he he's, goes. He's good. Dude, catfish go. are so tough. Look at him. See, they're gonna go. They're gonna go around and they'll make yeah. their way to that and they'll be gone. They'll be off. So guys, I'm pumped. The catfish are in their new, you know, swamp home, and we helped load you out today with a good deed so we can make that pond a trophy bass pond dude i want to be able to go out there and guarantee catch an eight pounder dude, I know, man. every I know. time because i just can't catch bass anymore and i need a friend that has a good spot so if we can make that happen so guys um thank you love you all and until the next fishing adventure fish bump i'm out of here